what's going on YouTube so we're gonna go ahead and do a cave mission today and as you can see I already have the mission accepted and I'm up in here and my cutty black outside of Everest Harbor so this one is gonna take us to Aberdeen so we're gonna just quantum jump to Aberdeen Aberdeen is one of the moons around Hurston. The one bad thing about this, doing these missions, is you can't jump directly to the cave. So, we have to find the closest spot. Okay, so it looks like I have to take orbital marker six. Uh, well, let's hit this orbital marker and see how close I am to it. Hopefully, this takes me close enough to it where I don't have to fight with it. So it looks like we gotta fly 271 kilometers. Okay. The one thing I don't like about Aberdeen is it is extremely hot on the planet's surface. Well, not planet, but moon. So you can't stay outside for very long uh, unless you're wearing heat protection gear, so that's what's really annoying, but I'm going to go ahead and take this long journey and I'll bring y'all back whenever I get close to the cave. You know that you're like right on the cave because it's going to have like a kind of an outcropping type uh, look to it and it's going to have like a couple boxes on the ground in the same area so it makes it kind of easy uh, you just like I said have to go into third person otherwise you you might fly over it believe it or not it, it's easy to miss if you're like just doing that so you have to kind of pay attention and just keep looking because yeah don't want to miss your spot oh there it goes so we're gonna go into third person and I know it's coming up here fairly soon let's go ahead and turn on our lights that looks is that it no all right so it's gotta be a little bit further <sighs> so hard to see I hate the atmosphere here so thick Looks like it might be right there in front of me. Let's get a little closer and see. And so, is this it? No. Ah, wishful thinking. So one thing you want to be careful is not to forget to look and just run straight into the ground while you're doing this because that is something that's easy to do as well. So I'm hoping the cave should be right here somewhere. It looks like it's right there in front of us, but we've been fooled before. So we're looking for like some cargo containers to be on the outside of it. Uh, I don't see anything here. I sure hope I don't pass it because it is easy to pass. That's 
That's one of the downfalls of Aberdeen. Not seeing it. Well, shoot. <sighs> Joys. Alright. <clears throat> what is that in front of me? Is that a tree? And obviously I did pass it. Because my marker's showing up again. Jesus. I passed it by that much? Alright. Turn around and go back. Like I said, it's easy to pass these up. Uh, I'm not seeing anything. So I'm guessing it's on the other side here. I'm not seeing an entrance. Mm. Okay, maybe over here. Let's go look. Should have went to Daymar. So much easier to find it on Daymar. Hmm. Cave system, where are you? What's What's funny is I picked up two. So I was like, uh, okay, well, let's do it, but, finding is always the fun part. Like, you waste so much time looking for it, and then it pops up, and it's like, oh, how did I miss that the first time? Then you're thinking about it, it's like, uh... I don't know. Guys, I'm just not seeing it. Hmm. Okay, might have to take a different, different route and just kind of fly up and uh, see if we can spot it. Probably be easier to find in daylight too, but so hot in the daylight. Alright, so just fly for a little bit. <coughs> and we're gonna wait for it to pop back up that hey, you missed it, genius. Then just turn around and go back and try looking again. Hopefully I'm in a different direction for the most part. And then we'll see. Should pop up here soon. Hoping at least. Come on. Alright, so there it pops up again. Go straight up. That way we can kind of fly directly at it and hopefully be able to spot it that way. I 
see light in the distance, but... Missing it. Uh, no, that can't be, is it? Huh. Well, it is. That's bizarre. Okay. So, here's the cave. Like I said, sometimes it's easy to spot, sometimes it's not. So. That's what you're looking for. Usually you can spot the uh, the Carklin containers that are outside of it. But this time I couldn't spot it. And you can see now that we're closer. Right. So, just like before, we're gonna turn off our engines. Turn off my lights too. And we're gonna go Meet Filbert Antolf. And I'm gonna put a bullet in his head. So we don't need that. So, one thing I didn't mention <clears throat> uh, make sure when you come down here and do these cave missions that you have a multi tool with you and a backpack. Because you can do some mining and get some hadonite and uh, aphorite while you're in there. And because my back door wouldn't close, I'm just gonna go out the side because I can close the side a little bit easier for some strange reason. The back door didn't want to close. Hopefully, I don't run into an issue of getting back in. But as you can see, this moon is extremely hot. I'm at 208 degrees Celsius at night. Which you would think it would be kind of cool at night, but it just stays hot as hell. Right. So, as I'm going through the cave, I'm not going to turn on my light for the simple fact that they have to be able to see me to shoot me. So, we're going to go through the cave and we're going to look for lights and that's going to tell us where oh. oh I see him but he doesn't have a light pop pop so that's one down I don't know how many is in here so that's what gets you kind of nervous is you don't know how many people are in here so you don't know how many you gotta take out? Before you move forward. And so, let's see. Do I see anyone else? Oh no, my luck. I'm gonna start moving and someone else is gonna be there. I don't see nobody and I don't hear nobody, so... Oh, wait. Right, so that should be good. At least for the first run. Alright. So, we come down this way. It doesn't matter which way you take, they both lead to the same thing, so you can just keep moving. looking for this and there's gonna be two people here I know that much oh, horrible shooting horrible shooting so that's two more right, so we can kind of move quickly through all this area don't have too much to worry about because there's not gonna be anyone for a little while they're spread out fairly good, so you don't have a lot of 
uh, people bunched up. So be careful right here because you don't want to fall down. You go in there anyway, but you want to take the uh, the path down because you just don't want to take the fall damage. Don't take the unnecessary risk if you don't have to. You know, cave system is beautifully done. I love the way they did it. So if you look right here, you can see that they got a Moshi Plague. If you feel like grabbing some, I mean, it doesn't sell for very much, but you know, it's an extra little income for you if you're uh, if you don't want to do the hand mining. All right, so we got another person coming up here shortly. Should be right after this bin, I believe. Crouch down. Gonna kind of, gonna kind of look for him, and you can see him in the distance. And Ooh, I missed. Down. All right. So this part right here is kind of difficult because you're dealing with low gravity, so you can't make the jump from here to there to there to there. So you're gonna look and you're gonna aim at this area over there and you're gonna kind of take a run and jump and land on it. All right, so this next room is gonna have like five people in it. So you gotta be really quick. Three. And it's funny, nobody raised the alarm on those shots. So, let's look for the last person. Two people. Oh, what's that? oh there you are. I see you. What in the world? Now, I know y'all saw that. I hit him like three times. Another person. As you can see, they can't see me. So that's what's going on. Oh come on. Direct hits. How are you still alive, dude? Alright. So where are you at, Filbert? You need to die. I should have seen them now. Did I pass them? Couldn't have passed them. So where is he? Oh, do I have to go further? Is there a further? I don't think I've ever gone any further than where I'm at now. But this is different. Alright, so we don't want to fall down there. We will die. Hmm. I guess I could turn on my light. Let's see. Hey, buddy. Are you Filbert? Anybody down there? Hello? Looking for Philbert. Hello? Yes, no, maybe. No, guess nobody's down there. Alright, let's look back here. Let's turn off my light. Oh, God, I can't see. back here. Alright. Uh, this way I guess? Hmm. Okay. 
going up. Ooh. Okay. Wait. Am I? Nah, no, can't be. Ooh. 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 That was almost bad. Why does it feel like I'm trying to escape prison right now? That's... Huh. Okay. That's bizarre. It feels like I'm up in the cave system under a uh, clutcher. Because that's where I usually see those blue flowers and everything when I'm trying to escape pleasure. Okay, well, let's just go back. Because I am not seeing our bounty. Which sucks. Alright, let's see if we can spot any movement. Without falling down any of the holes. Hmm. Be nice if I had like a pop up say, hey, he's over here. Because I've killed everybody here. Yet. Not seeing anything. here or what? Okay, why well, will it not? Crouch is working, but it won't low crawl. Hmm. Okay. Lay down, dude. There you go. Alright, let's see if our guy's back here. I don't think I've ever been this far back. But I never have to come back to any of this area. So this is all new, guys. Kind of bizarre coming back this way, but you know, it is what it is. Am I just going in one big circle? Maybe? Huh. Ugh, had a night. Hey, look. Another guy. And that was him. Well, ain't that something? Oh crap. What in the world? Am I in a different cave system? Cool. I told you it's gonna go 
back the way we came. I honestly have never had to go that far. Usually it's fairly simple, but it is what it is. All right, so like I told you before, when you come through here, make sure that you grab a mining attachment for your multi-tool. So I'm gonna show you all this real quick. Hmm, there we go, okay. It was kind of glitched out for a second there. Still feels like it's glitched. Oh, finally it's scanning. So we know it's had night. Alright, so the way you do mining with first person is you're gonna do just like you do normally in like a, a prospector or a mole is you're gonna press the fire button and you're gonna look at the left hand side and you're gonna play keep it in the green. I turn it all the way up to get it up there and then I kind of drop it down to around 40 to see how the needle reacts and then I just sit there and kind of bump it up every now and then to keep it in the green. So, all right, so here's our had night. So I will put away my multi-tool and I'll just look down and I'll tap F to pick up and it automatically stores it for me. And it stores it in my gigantic backpack. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of uh, travel back out the same way I came in and just hit all the Haddonite nodes on my way out. And I'm gonna see how much we get. And I'll bring y'all back after I, uh, I leave the whole cave system and I, I hit uh, Everest Harbor again. Alright, so instead of going back to Everest Harbor, I'm just going to go to the mining facility that's on Aberdeen. Let's see, HDMS Anderson. So we're going to set a route for HDMS Anderson and we're going to head that way. So it appears that I'm getting glitched a little bit, but... <laughs> ah, glitches. Fun, fun, fun. Now that we're back on the hellscape planet. Oh god, I'm blind. I can't see a damn thing. Turn it away from the sun. It appears we're glitched up a little bit, but that's okay. And the way you can fix the glitch is you can you can actually log off and log back on, and the glitch will be fixed. So it's up to you. If the glitch bothers you, you can just log off and log back on. But unfortunately, I can't set a route for HDMS Anderson because I am glitching. So let's see if I can find it. This way. Nope, that's not it. So it was by Clutcher. Huh. I wonder if I was actually halfway into Clutcher. That would be crazy. But I guess we'll never know. Because I wasn't going in there. That would be crazy. Just go in the clasher and just... I don't know, what, what would I even do? Going in the clasher as a free man, you know, it's like, 
Hmm. Well. I can go up in there and just start killing people. That would be funny. Well, actually, no, I don't think I could. Hmm. I don't know. I might have to go back. Well, I don't know if I'd ever be able to find that cave again, to be honest with you. Now, if I do get a, a, a mission going back there, I might. I might actually take it and go and see. But for the time being, I'm just going to head to HDMS Anderson and go see how much money I made off this hat night that I got. Thankfully, HDMS Anderson wasn't too far away. Also, thankfully, I didn't have Klesher's uh, guns shooting at me, because that sucks. Because I was actually flying around down here one day with my rock uh, in the back of my cutlass, and I didn't see that I was anywhere near Klesher, but apparently I was near Klesher. And no warning, no warning popped up saying that I had inbound missiles and all of a sudden I got blown out the sky. It's like, oh no, no good. But if you haven't tried rock mining, it is actually pretty, pretty good. I like it. I'll do it every now and then uh, if I'm bored and I don't feel like doing uh, a bunker mission or one of the cave missions or uh, I wish my guy would put his hand down because this is so annoying but anyways um, <clears throat> I do rock mining uh, I mean I'm not I'm not always doing it but you know it, it's easy to make a couple couple hundred thousand off of doing rock mining so I do like it so we're just gonna go ahead and land on the smaller pad here just uh, so we can go into the facility I don't know which one it is on this one it's been a while since I've been here just because I don't like this hellscape of a planet well of a moon I don't know why I keep calling it a planet it's not a planet it's a moon but it is a hellscape because I don't know if y'all saw, but y'all gonna see here in a second. As soon as I walk out of here. Let's see. I'm not properly equipped for this. Look at the bottom left. I, the temperature is just rising. It keeps going and going and going. 169 degrees Celsius. I honestly don't even know how hot that is. There it is. All I know is that's hot. Extremely hot. So, yeah. 17 minutes survival estimate. Ooh. It'd be so cool if like whenever you walked in here, uh, you just had like uh, steam pouring off you. That'd be so cool. So obviously I went into the wrong building, but you know what? It is what it is. I'm just gonna loot while I'm here. You know what? I like free stuff and I cannot lie. So, just go ahead and grab everything. Well, not everything. I'm not going to grab the fruits and stuff, which is the Aza or the Rata Dung or the Dakari Paws or Proto. Because, one, I don't want it. 
two, I don't feel like having to go to where you have to go to sell that stuff. So it's like, yeah, it's not worth my time. And that, that's the whole thing. You have to make the decision if something's worth your time in this game. Because there's some things that just will not be worth your time. So, uh, a lot of stuff you might wind up passing up on. You know, it's like, uh, it's like a hit or miss for majority of it. So, I usually just look at it be like, eh, I'll take that, I'll take that. Food, I will always take food. Because you know what? You never know, you might be in the middle of doing something and you might need some food. So, I always grab the food. Now, the water and like these cruise flow drinks will actually replenish some of your, your food as well. So, I usually like to take those. Just in case. Like, if uh, my water's at like 50%, whereas my food's at like 80 or 90, I'll take. I'll drink one of those to where that way I can just not have to worry about eating a meal and I can just keep going. Oh, good God, they got a whole bunch of them up in here. I'm not going to complain. Because those medical guns, I could sell those for like, uh, what was it, like 700 I think? So those are pretty good. So I'll take them and I'll sell them. Make me a little bit of profit off of those as well. I was actually starting to wonder if this one was going to load in or not. Let's see. Another bottle of water. Take that. Those. You know, I really don't know how to use a lifeguard attachment. Like, I don't see how it's supposed to be used. It's like, it goes into your multi-tool. But it's like, what does it do? Like, I can't use it to heal myself. So it's like, what am I supposed to do with it? So, if you know uh, what you're supposed to do with those... By all means, put it in the comment because you know what? I have not found a use for him yet. And I'd really like to know because I'm actually quite curious. Uh, let's see. That's a lot of storage containers. I was hoping for some weapons up in these, but I'll take what I can get. I'll sell those. Sell that. Multi tools. I'll keep those. Because, unfortunately, when I was in the cave and I was mining, uh, I just cracked the Haddonite node. And when I went back uh, to crack a second one, for some strange reason, my multi tool was gone. I'm like, uh, what? Excuse me? I just had a multi-tool. So I was like, uh, so I went back to the spot where my node, where the node was at, and I'm looking, and I'm like, where is my multi-tool? Couldn't find it. So I have no clue what happened to it. And I'm just like, yeah, okay. Well, that's lost. Oh well. Where is... Oh. So I did pass it. Well. I was looking for storage. Too close. Alright. Any loot boxes up in here that I can look at? No, unfortunately not. All right, so let's see. What did I make? 
from Manhattan. So sell, select location. Backpack. Head neck. So I got an additional 32,000. Not bad. Plus, I got 25,000 for finding the bounty. So, it's not bad, 50,000. I mean, it took me roughly, oh, 25 to 30 minutes of straight up mining. Um, the had night just to, to get that amount. I mean, it's not a horrible, horrible thing, but. You know, that, that's one of the things about uh, hand mining is, you know, it's not, it's not lucrative to get, you're not going to get a whole bunch out of it, but you know, a little something here and there, you know, it's, it's not that bad. So, and it doesn't take long. It's not hard to do. Why is my personal still showing a hundred percent? I just sold everything. Hmm. Okay. Well, there's another glitch. Right. So, if you find yourself liking this video, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe. And there's a link to our Discord down up in the uh, description. Go ahead and pop in and say hi. And uh, come join us in the first. Well, that's it, guys. Y'all have a good one.